Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. I am Richie Ware, and this is Brian Grandstaff, the man behind BoilerWarehouse.com. Please make sure you go out, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter, and if you would, just make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. That helps us out a lot. Great to be with you today, Brian. In boiler rooms all the time, there's boiler rooms that are very simple, and there's boiler rooms that need a lot of information. And right. you've kind of set up something for us today to, to talk through that. Yeah, we got a little, a few components here, but this doesn't speak to the breadth of the boiler rooms that we really see, right? Sure. So, you know, we, we deal with all different types of boiler rooms, whether that is a uh, craft brewer that's just getting started. Mm -hmm. You know, he's starting his own business. He has a real simple boiler room. He just needs the boiler on, off. Um, don't need a lot of information, just really, um, you know, very basic operation. Sure. Uh, and we also deal with billion dollar companies who, uh, you know, every part of their boiler room and process needs to be measured and recorded and trended um, because the accuracy of their product uh, and their investment is so high that they need to control every little piece of information sure. in, the, sure. in that boiler room. Uh -huh. So what we've got here is just a little bit of a representation of different types of things, right? Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, a, a very analog pressure gauge. You know, mm -hmm. the pressure moves a diaphragm, it moves a needle. Uh -huh. um, same way with the uh, thermometer here. Right. You know, you've got uh, chemicals and ether there that as it gets warmed up, it moves a dial and it moves the temperature indicator. Okay. Very basic that you see in and, and boiler rooms or anything else yeah, that you're yeah, measuring. Right. Um, and then we've got a couple of things here that do similar things, but they're a little higher end. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got uh, a temperature transmitter here mm -hmm. uh, with a temperature probe, two different type of uh, temperature probes here uh, that are uh, thermocouple type. Okay. Um, they read the temperature here and the transmitter will interpret that information and be able to either show that on the transmitter or on a screen, a control screen. Right. Um, and then if you've got recording equipment, uh -huh. you can trend that equipment. Okay. So you can, you can actually trend all of the temperature changes that happen while it's continuously reading. Okay. Um, same thing with the pressure transmitter here. You can put this pressure transmitter where a gauge would be mm -hmm. and it can do the same thing it's going to trend the pressure changes throughout your system and be able to show on the same type of screen if, you, if you've got that equipment right so for us you know you really deal on all spectrums of how basic does it need to be or how right. how more elevated does it yeah. need to be yeah um so those are just like the first two steps uh-huh um you know, as, as you start to upgrade in boiler rooms, you may be more um, trying to find out what the flows of things are. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now you're talking about metering instead of just monitoring your temperature and your pressure, but what's, what's my different flow rates? Right. You right. know, in a boiler room, you've got feed water flow, you've got uh, fuel flow, whether that's gas or propane or, you know, hydrogen's coming or, um, you know, fuel oil, number mm -hmm, two fuel mm -hmm. oil. Um, you've got steam flow, mm -hmm. you've got condensate return. You know, all of these factors come into play of possibly needing measurement at some point. Right, right. So do these things go into uh, tanks or into piping or what? Yeah, so you can really put <clears throat> them in anything um, mm -hmm. that you need to, to measure. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if that's a feed water tank or a deaerator and you want to know what your DA, DA temperature is, you can, you can measure it and trend that. Okay. So you know that your deaerator is actually operating at the right temperatures and pressures that it needs to be. Yep. Yep. Um, there's differential pressure transmitters that actually help with level control even mm -hmm. to, to give you a better accurate reading of mm -hmm. a level control over, you know, just a float type level control. Right, right. Um, so another aspect of temperature, you know, not just temperature on your tank, but temperature in your stack, on your boiler stack. Right. You know, being able to trend your, your temperature on your stack lets you know how efficient your boiler's running or is that efficiency decaying over time because of possible soot or, um, you know, um, scale, scale forming mm -hmm. in the boiler. Sure. If you're trending that information regularly and you know when it's starting to creep out of whack, now you know you may have a problem that you need to solve. Right. 
Right. So that's that's the key to all of this type of instrumentation that we're showing. Right. Is that gives you the type of control and knowledge for you to be able to address things sure. before they before they break or before they happen. Right, right, right. So Brian, you were talking a little bit about uh, pressures and temperatures, but there's actually some flow that also we need to measure, correct? Right. So I mentioned all the things that you could measure flow-wise in a boiler room, and that really leads into what well, what type of things are you using to measure that flow? Sure. And there's all sorts of different types of brands and, and technologies to measure those flows, or whether that's a level control or flow rate in general. Uh -huh. um, you know, you've got... Uh, uh, mag meters for feed water flow, you've got ultrasonic meters for feed water flow, um, you've got uh, vortex meters for steam, mm -hmm. like there's whole gambits of technology depending on what the temperature and pressure and the flow rates that you're dealing with and how right. accurate you need to read. Right. So we talk about, you know, different levels of boiler room and there's different levels of instrumentation as well. How sure. accurate do you need to be to trend what you need to trend? Right. Um, the higher the accuracy and the more repeatability that you want with that, there's usually a price point attached to that. Right. But right. if you just need a general idea, there are some economical ways to address those type of things on all of the things that we've discussed. Yeah. It just depends on how tight you have to be able to measure those things. Got it. Um, and we deal with all sorts of brands. Like mm -hmm. what we've got right here is Indris Hauser and, and Winners Gauges, mm -hmm. but you know, Siemens, Rosemont, mm -hmm. um, Varus on mm -hmm. the steam flow mm -hmm. and, and some of the gas flow applications. Yeah. We really have access to a lot of different types of instrumentation. Sure. And we can match people up based on, well, what is your need? there um, if if a plant has a certain specification on what their standard is yeah we can help them with that uh, and and really the branding can be somewhat independent or standardized based on what their plant requires what need. yeah yeah okay well it's just uh, it's awesome to see that boilerwarehouse.com continues to grow Brian continue to bring in more and more products uh, you right. know that you can actually get online yep. and go out and see all of this stuff that we do have and uh, again make sure you visit boilerwarehouse.com or you can just give this guy a call and he will be able to help you out. Yeah. We'll, we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. <laughs>